Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. Today we've got the Year 8 Season 3 Mid-Season Roadmap Update. So this has a lot of information about what is coming in the next season and beyond. Now this is their Mid-Season Roadmap Update, but I wouldn't really say this is Mid-Season because we're probably about three and a bit weeks away from the next season actually launching. So we're really close to the end. And of course, here is our roadmap. So we've got our new map. We've got, of course, got our Portugal Operator. We've got a Defender AI playlist, re-ramped shield mechanics now marked as beta, update to frag grenades. So there's a lot of juicy stuff in here. So let's go on with it. We first of all got a little teaser of the new map. So of course it's confirmed for this season, which is very good. And they say that they're gonna be bringing a map in here that has incredible verticality. Now, what I would love this to be is floors that don't have beams in them. So you can actually destroy them and just jump down like you could see in the actual our initial gameplay for Rainbow Six Siege when it was uh, revealed at E3. So that would be cool. But I don't know if it'll be the case. We'll see. But yeah, new map on the foundation of verticality. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. This is, of course, the only new map this year. And I'm excited to see if it's going to be good and what it's going to be. We then got the new Versus AI playlist. So this is going to be confirmed to be coming with the season launch. And this is a playlist you can jump into and play against the AI. Specifically, these are machine learning bots on Defender. So you'll only be on attack, but in the future, they will be adding in an attacker version of it as well. But yeah, you'll be attackers going up against Defender bots. Could be good for testing different strategies. And of course, for brand new players, this will be awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. Then we've got revamped shield mechanics. So this has been delayed. So it will appear in beta form this season. However, it's going to only be on a test server. Now, because we're going into Christmas and New Year, so of course, lots of holidays at that point, don't expect to see this on a test server until January. And then February is the sixth invitational. So they'll have to get this on the test server before then. But yeah, this is going to be playable. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much just simply delayed by at least one season. Because they haven't given anything here, I would imagine this is gonna be a couple of seasons till we actually see it on the live servers. Now we have something kind of great and sad here for controller remapping. So this is coming this season. This will allow you to completely customize your inputs on controller in the game, which is brilliant. However, the leaning while hip firing is not coming until later in the season. Now the good thing is it is coming in the season. So that'll be probably January but unfortunately it's not coming with the actual launch of this feature. But yeah, at least it is on its way. You'll soon be able to lean on console without aiming. Then we've got an update to frag grenades. This could be really bad and I'm kind of worried how they're gonna do this. They talk about how they wanna rebalance this gadget to make it more in line with secondary gadgets. So I could see this being more like an impact grenade for like damage and stuff like that. Maybe that means you'll get more of them, perhaps, but it's going to be a big nerf for frag grenades, and I could see like uh, doing damage through like surfaces and stuff like that probably being reduced massively. So a bit of a worry, and they're going to show this off during the reveal panel, so we'll see how this is all going to play out. But yeah, scared about this one, but I understand why they're doing it. Frag grenades have become absolutely amazing in the game, and a lot of operators are picked just for them, so we'll see how that plays out. Then we have this one. I'm not sure what this is. So new rant requirements. Rant is the most popular competitive mode in Siege. Hence, it is no surprise that it's always in our line of sight as terms of priority, ensuring that players can enjoy a balanced competitive experience both with and against similar skilled players. We are committed to making sure rant is fair, is a fair environment, and we are adding more rank requirements to reinforce the core experience. Now... I assume this just means you're going to have a higher level to get into ranked, maybe, as a brand new player. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It definitely, from reading it, I think it's just going to be more of a pain to get into ranked for new players. But talking about a pain, privacy mode on consoles has been cancelled. This sucks. This would have allowed you to change your name in-game, which would have been sweet. But what I used it for the most is randomizing my team and enemy team's names. That was so cool. And that's just because I make content on YouTube and I don't want someone's name popping up and I'm getting abuse online or something like that in a gameplay clip. I'd love to make it so that those players that I'm playing with are anonymous. And unfortunately, this has been outright cancelled. 
So they say the work required to deliver privacy mode on consoles has brought up external challenges that came up late in the process, as well as this new privacy features have been made available on the console ecosystems themselves. For this reason, we've made the tough decision to stop the development of this feature on consoles specifically for the time being. As you know, player protection remains a top priority and we're all committed to improving our experience and making Siege an even safer and fairer game to play on consoles and discover more of our plans in the coming weeks. So it does look like there's going to be some more updates to stuff. Uh, who knows what this is, if this is uh, talking about maybe mousetrap or stuff like that, but we're going to hear something about consoles in the next few weeks. Now, they say external challenges. I would assume that Sony and Microsoft, they've probably gone... We don't want players playing with a different gamer tag from what they actually have in the system. So I think there's a good chance that Microsoft and Sony just said no to that feature. And uh, that is our mid-season thingy. This gets us ready for the full reveal, of course, happening November 12th. So let's go back through this stuff because it's interesting. This uh, season has been very little changed, which is really good. Like obviously the shield mechanics one has been pushed back. But the Defender AI playlist is continuing, and of course the new map is also coming in too, along with the Operator. So for the most part, this season's actually been one of the least changed over the rest of them, because all these other ones had quite a few changes in them. And then when it comes to the features they've mentioned, the new map I'm very much looking forward to, very excited to play it. The new Versus AI playlist, actually super excited to play this. And then the revamp to Shields, I don't care, I don't play Shield Operators, but I do want to see it be better, so I'm hoping this will be good, but I'm definitely worried that this will not work out. Then we've got the controller remapping, very good. Leaning on consoles will be coming very soon this season, so that's awesome, maybe around about January would be my guess. The update to frag grenades, I am super, super worried about this, as this is definitely the big problem uh, in this. I'm worried about this, so we'll see how that works out. New rank requirements, I honestly not sure this, uh, like, there's a lot of complaints right now about uh, rank 2.0, a lot of confusion. I've had to make an actual video dedicated just to going over how it works because it's super simple and that's, to me, that's the problem. And because the skill rating is hidden, a lot of people get confused on what is going on behind the scenes. And uh, this isn't obviously going to fix any of those kind of complaints and problems with it. Then we've got privacy mode, big bummer for me, but I think you guys will not give a damn out there because it's not that big an issue, but super sad for me anyway, not to have that. And like I say, I just want to make it so that I can make my teammates names random and that would be it, which I would hope wouldn't, you know, piss off Sony and Microsoft, but it might be the case that I, again, they don't want those gamer tags being hidden. So yeah, that is our mid-season roadmap update. The new season is coming quick. I'm loving the teasers they've been putting out so far. And right now we're putting out a bit of a big chunk of information every single day. So I am loving where this is going right now. And fingers crossed that this is going to be the best season of the year. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.